Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It is your boy Optic Scumpy, and today we're going to be talking about some stuff. Obviously, as many of you know, we didn't get the placing that we wanted to Call of Duty Championships, and it really, really sucks. Basically, you know, we won the last three tournaments. We were going into Call of Duty Championships. We had a lot of confidence, and to be honest, I don't know what happened. It was weird. It was like everything that we practiced together... The Optic LAN, the weeks leading up to the tournament, the other tournaments that we've been to, getting the LAN experience, everything that we learned and practiced together as a team felt like it wasn't there at Champs. And it doesn't matter that we get a hard bracket. It doesn't matter. You know, nothing matters other than the fact that we didn't play well and that we didn't mesh together. We didn't play like I thought that we could play. Going back to the hard bracket a little bit, obviously we pulled Denial first round. Um, you know, obviously, whenever you pull a team like that, the very first round, a grand finals match potential, um, you know, game, us in denial, you're not happy. Obviously, you don't want to play a team like that right off the bat. You'd rather play a team to warm up against a little bit, get, get the feel of the tournament a little bit more, get a win under your belt. Obviously, pool play had something to do with that. But we got the now first round. We came out. We were slow. They were really, really into it. They were really, really on their game. We came out incredibly slow. We didn't play our game. Uh, we can say that about every game that we lost at the tournament, but more so in that match than any other match. It felt like we were scared. It felt like there was no confidence. It was a weird, weird feeling. So a lot of you guys are probably worrying yourselves and stressing yourselves out about team changes. Is anyone going to be leaving the team? Is anyone new joining the team? In my eyes right now, at this time, I don't see anybody leaving the team. I don't see anybody new joining the team. I don't know what is 100% going on. I couldn't ever tell you that. Um, but I don't see a reason for anyone to leave the team. We've won the last three tournaments. Obviously, we came short at the biggest tournament of the year, which, which sucks. I mean, it's not a good feeling. But... There is success and there's a lot of potential in this team and I can't see anyone on the team leaving. I can't see anybody, you know, not wanting to play with this team any longer just because we didn't come out and play at Call of Duty Championships. And the hardest thing, the hardest thing to think about, you practice and practice and practice and you put all the time and effort into the game that you do to get ready and prepare for the tournament. And then you actually get to the tournament and you have two series. You have two bad series. To come out with. If you lose twice, you're out. I mean, obviously, pool play is different. But in bracket play, two series, two bad series, you're out. And the fact that we played Denial and Phase Red and had both bad series on both of those teams, you know, it sucks because I don't think it does our team justice. I think that, obviously, we've won the past three tournaments before this. And we just came out slow. That's that's literally the, all there is to it. And congratulations to Denial. Um, TR, Phase Red, all three teams played uh, fantastic. Those were the top three placers in the tournament. They all played great. You can't take anything away from them. I mean, they came out, they played their game, they and they won. And I couldn't even bear to watch it. I, I was sitting in the hotel room just trying to forget about the loss. And I, I didn't even want to watch the tournament. That's how, that's how bad I was. Usually I'll still watch the tournament. If I were to get eliminated, I'd at least watch the games because I just... I enjoy watching Call of Duty a lot, so, but this one was different. Couldn't even watch the games. Just wanted to forget and try to move on from the weekend because it, it honestly does suck a lot. Besides all of the sad, sad talk and, you know, trying to find a way to put words to what happened throughout the weekend, it was a great weekend. I had a lot of fun besides losing, obviously. It was a great, great time. The Call of Duty Champs setups are always sick. They're always very, very nice, and they always get us whatever we need whenever we're about to play. As you guys could probably tell with my voice, I'm a little bit sick. I started getting sick Saturday morning, and then it sort of went away, so I don't know how that worked, but sort of went away Sunday, and then now it's uh, almost gone, so luckily I dodged that. That would have sucked to have lost Champs and then came home and been sick right away but i'm probably gonna be taking a little vacation still gonna be making youtube videos just taking a little bit of a break from streaming maybe like two or three day break just to hang out recoup regroup and uh hit it hard again i think the next couple events that we have are um well let's think we have eswc in may um 
I think UMG Cali. I'm not sure if we're going to that or not, but UMG Cali, I'm not, I don't even know when that is. Then we have X Games in June, June 5th. We have X Games number two, hopefully going for two chains there. But there are a couple events coming up. We're going to try to recuperate, practice, fix the things that went wrong at Champs, and uh, hopefully win every other tournament this year. That would be the end goal. Uh, I think that we could probably make our money back or close to it if we ended up winning every single tournament um, of the year from this point out. Well, I don't even know if we could do that. But we're at least getting gold medals. I'm, I'm trying to win a gold medal. I'm trying to be two chains scumpy up in the building. That would be pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, I don't think anything bad is happening with the team, guys. I think you can all relax on that. And uh, yeah, we're going to try our best to regroup and come back strong. The only thing that sort of sucks right now is that there isn't a guaranteed Call of Duty Champs next year. I don't know 100% if they're having it. Hopefully they do. You know, Treyarch always comes through on the competitive end of Call of Duty. So hopefully, hopefully they do. I'm sitting here, fingers crossed, hoping for everything that they have another champ so I have another chance to get a ring. But if they don't, it is what it is. You know, you can't sit back and linger on things. It'll just make everything worse. So you just got to keep moving on, keep pushing forward. We're going to try to get a couple more championships throughout some of these smaller tournaments. And, uh, yeah, keep on pleasing the green wall. Sorry if we didn't come out and, you know, win the tournament like a lot of you guys were expecting, uh, like our team was expecting as well. But sometimes it happens, you know, you lose, you win. Sometimes you just got to pick yourself back up and keep on going. And that's what we plan to do. So, Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, leave a like, favor, comment, subscribe if you did. We'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, this was your boy Optic Scumpy. Uh, see ya.